Hi you guys, this is Betsy Russell. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Welcome to my home. So today I'm going to be talking about recovering from a breakup. This is for men and women, for anybody that's just gone through a breakup, as I have. And um, I really wanted to share some of my thoughts about recovering easily and gracefully from a breakup. Um, so obviously in the beginning, it's going to be hard, especially if you didn't want the breakup. And I was just in a place of complete misery. I had anxiety. I had very negative thoughts, mostly fear. And I think it came from the not knowing if I would ever have that feeling again that I had with my, my ex. And, um, so I was aware that I was having negative thinking brought on by a very low mood. And knowing, as I know, because I've studied something called the three principles for a long time, which was started by Sid Banks, and you can find a lot of information about it on the internet, that um, I would eventually return to my peaceful, happy place, because we all do, just like if you've cut your finger, you're going to organically, your body's gonna heal itself, we always return to our happy, peaceful state of mind. It may take, you know, I don't know, an hour, a day, even a week or longer sometimes, but we always will naturally return to that state of mind. And when we are in a happy place, we have great thoughts. And when we're in a low mood or depressed or upset or triggered, as I call it, we're going to have negative thoughts. And it's really our choice which we choose to focus on. So we can't choose which thoughts come in and out of our mind. We have about 70,000 thoughts that come in and out of our mind every day, but we do have the luxury and the choice to focus on the negative thoughts or the positive thoughts. And, and that really creates our mood and our happiness or unhappiness with, with our situation. So I knew that I would return to my happy, peaceful state eventually, but I was hoping that it would come sooner than later. And I really kind of did a lot of research and I checked out what other people were talking about in books and I actually threw myself into reading um, a biography that uh, is something that I've done in the past when I've been upset. I like to read uh, what other, you know, what other actresses have done and, and just what they've gone through. I mean, I'm reading Ava Gardner's right now and I love it. And she's, she went through so much, but she always had a great attitude about life and that really, really helps me. And so little by little, I noticed myself recovering and I didn't make contact with him. It was really important for me um, not to do that. I knew that he needed time and space and I did as well. So I think that's not, that's really important not to contact your ex. You know, they say, um, that's my son in the background. They say really just to um, get off social media, which, which I didn't do, but I chose to torture myself knowing that it was a little harder staying on it. But um, we didn't have any ill will or uh, bad feelings towards each other. And it, it, just, it just wasn't working out. So I think it's important not to make contact and to really just think of it as you're handling the breakup with ease and grace, you know? Um, so I really like to take the high road and, and not to gossip, not to have any, you know, negative conversations with people about my ex because you know, who knows, you may end up having this person in your life again, and why would you want to put anything negative out to the universe? So do something that you love, whether it's read a book, get into a class, you know, I started doing a dance class, and now I'm going to be doing um, an improv class with my son and my sister and my best friend, so I'm excited about that. I wouldn't jump into dating right away. I mean, some people say that that gets your mind off the X, and it's great as long as you're not trying to fill that void with another relationship. I think we all need a little bit of time, at least I do, to recover before we jump into anything else. Um, I would just really be mindful of your, uh, your thinking. And when you're in this place of just kind of sadness, it's like the thoughts that come in tend to be, oh, I should have done this differently, I could have done this differently, when in reality, we did the best we could in the moment given our thinking, and we always do, everyone does. So I wouldn't shit on yourself 
S-H-O-U-L-D. Um, don't go down that path. Just keep reminding yourself you did the best you could, you know, given your thinking at the time. And, um, and so get into a class, make your life better than it was before. Why not? I mean, use this opportunity really to, I'm writing a book right now, so I'm gonna throw myself into my book. I mean, have an exciting life that doesn't only revolve around your partner or your relationship. Do something for yourself that maybe you've been putting off for a while and really concentrate on that. Um, something that I'm gonna be doing is my YouTube, things like this, and I'm hoping to give back and to inspire others and to just keep getting happier and, and get past that relationship because we don't know what we don't know and maybe there's somebody better for me out there. Maybe there's someone better for you in the future and maybe this is the best thing that happened that we all have these breakups because we just don't know that it's not. So I would say don't judge the situation, but really be aware of your thinking and only trust your thinking when you're in a good mood because then, you know, we have happy thoughts and when we're in a bad mood, we have negative thinking and negative thoughts. So don't go down that rabbit hole and really, you know, watch yourself in that way. So I hope that this has helped. Um, I wish you the best. I know it's not an easy time, but we will get through it together. So thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.